When you create text on the layout, you create it one-to-one. -one. Okay, so we mentioned that before, and, and this text, if we look at properties, uh, that text is quarter inch high, and we could do a distance to confirm that. But what I want to talk about is what about this text that's in the detail, okay? Especially this one here that says kitchen, because if I look at it here, and I look at it over here, as the scale gets larger, so does the text, okay? So let's take a look at, keeping that in mind, let's take a look at the top view. I only have one piece of kitchen text, but it's set to 12 inches high. What I want to do is turn on annotation scale. And by doing this, text is created one-to-one, -one, and it's displayed and plotted one-to-one. -one. So Rhino takes care of doing the work. So look what happens when I pick to turn on annotation scale, and I go back out here. The text in the model space area doesn't change. But look at what happens when I go to the layout. All of a sudden, I have text that's 12 inches high on the layout. But remember, our layout's only 11 by 17. I need a way to scale this text. So I'm going to go to select and right click to select text or you can type in cell text and instead of 12 inch high text I'm going to scale my text down to 0.125. And when I do that again another alarming issue here is that I can no longer see my text. Notice that under annotation scale I have model space text scale. It's set to 1. Okay, I'm going to change that to 40. Just going to throw a number out there. Okay, when I do that, I can now start to see the text. What if I do something like 90? Okay, the text gets bigger. So I can read the text on the model space, so we can check that off, one problem taken care of. And then when I go to the layout space, the text is now appropriately sized for each detail. Concentrate specifically on kitchen. Okay, so here kitchen is a certain size and let me just draw an arrow and over here kitchen is the same size. So that is annotation scale at work and that also works the same for dimensions. Okay, so let's uh, take uh, a look at that. The key here when you're using annotation scale is to create text one-to-one. -one and let Rhino do the work. Let's go to layers and we're going to make the detail plan layer current. I've got my detail locked which is awesome. I'm going to go to the drafting tab, select linear dimension, continue, and I'll just pick a few locations to create dimensions to. Let's do another one. And I'll start uh, up here. And need to be a little careful of smart track. I don't want to track away from the uh, locations that uh, I want to dimension. And I'll pick here and here and here. Okay. A uh, couple overalls and then we'll we'll be done. Okay, so the key here is that if I create the dimension either in the detail or on the layout, they should be exactly the same. And the way you get that to work is by using object snap. So if I, if I tried to create this dimension without an object snap, I wouldn't have the accuracy. So make sure and get those object snaps on when you're creating dimensions. I'm going to create a couple more dimensions for kitchen plan. As you're watching these dimensions come in, um, I'm going to change the color in this detail to a little bit darker green so that they're easier to see. And we'll see that here in a moment when we return to, uh, to the layout. And uh, let's just do a couple more here. You can see already the ones that we've created are taking on that darker color.
So as you're comparing the dimension in each of these details, even though they're on different layers, Rhino is taking care of scaling them so that they look appropriate for each of these details. Again, OSNAP can get in the way sometimes placing the uh, dimensions and a couple this uh, dimension probably is uh, in need of an override or a different uh, dimension style. If I uh, look here, I have another dimension style called dim that uses an arrow, so I can override it and assign it to that style. Um, um, quick changes to the dimension style would be to show a background color white is uh, is fine and we do have hard to tell in this view whether that's on top um, but if I look here under drafting I do have display order or draw order and I can make sure and move that to the top and now I can tell for sure that it is on the top of that line draw order controls were added in Rhino 5. This one also doesn't have the feet and inch unit, so if I wanted to select the uh, dimension and uh, override it, property uh, overrides also uh, include feet and inches. Okay, lots uh, lots of fun, um, 